Well, I've been doing some more frame preparation, particularly for the seating area. And uh, what I did was I bent the handle upwards and extended the frame out to the handle. And you may ask why I did that. And the reason is because when I sit, I sit on the very end of the seat. If I push this back to here now, now I've got support and I can sit more comfortably. It also gives me more room up front here to install some sort of gas tank. So I did a little welding and fab today and I got the top head stay put in there. I got the uh, chain alignment good. So those two should go between those two sprockets. I gotta come up with a custom rear sprocket to work for a 428 chain, which is what this motor up here supports. I'll get rid of that um, number 35 little tiny crappy chain, which I don't think is gonna do the job. So here's a little recap of what we did today. We bent the tail handle that's here upwards and then we put a strut across it and that was to get the seat mounted further to the rear so that way somebody big like me can sit on it. I also went and I removed the seat mounting brackets and the front one unfortunately is too small to fit in here so I'll make a new one of that. But the rear one went in there just fine so we welded that into place and as you see it aligns with the screw holes so that should put the seat back oh I don't know about four or five inches or so so that'll help me significantly when I sit on this thing next off um, we cut out the foot pegs that used to go in here and those are a real pain in the ass to get out because of the way that they were welded in and it left a couple of gaping holes here in the down tubes so I had to weld those shut and I ground them all nice and smooth so it looks like it's fresh pipe once again so that sucker's all brand new. These foot pegs, however, they're gonna get moved somewhere where they're more comfortable and they won't conflict with the front engine mount. And I'm thinking they'll probably fall in right about here. And this would be a good thing because the shifter on the motor is going to be right about here somewhere. So if you could picture my heel on there and my toe right about here flipping the shifter, that would make a little more sense. We also got the top engine mount in for the head stay. And right now I can put the motor into that bolt hole right there and allow the motor to swing forwards and back so that way I can figure out exactly where about I want to hang that motor. I do know I want it to be at that top tab but the bottom I wasn't really certain of yet depending upon where it wanted to be in the frame. The engine is a, is a vertical engine but I wanted to put a slight diagonal angle on it to make it blend in with the shape of the frame and it also helps to give it a little more space because the vertical engine would fit better tipped slightly that way. All right, and there's the motor attached to the head stay. And as I said, it now has some swing in it. So I can figure out just about where I want it. And I think what we're gonna do is gonna kick the rear end up just a little bit. Put it right about there, just like that. I should give it enough room to get the carburetor in there and to get the exhaust pipes. That's right, pipes. That's right, it's actually twin exhaust out of a single cylinder. Each exhaust pipe should curve around the outside of the uh, down tubes without too big of a problem. I think everything will clear just fine. The motor got centered in the frame pretty well. I, I must admit, it, uh, it worked out quite well. And there it is. So we should be good to go. Next weekend, we're gonna put the rear motor mounts and the front motor mounts in there. Front ones look like they'll be pretty easy. I already have an idea in mind for that. And the rear motor mount, I've got an idea for it as well. We'll get that all put back together.